We're going to do the Avengers Endgame Trailer 2 Breakdown, and we're going to start right now. What's good? Welcome back to the channel. Fist bump. If you're new to the channel, then do this. Express your zest in knowing more about the MCU and diving through the pages of Stan Lee's great comics by subscribing and hitting the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of our uploads. Alright, so since there are some important things to talk about in this trailer, if this video goes a little long, I'm sorry. In this channel, we usually make short videos ranging from 1.5 to 4 minutes long, but if this goes a little longer, then it's only to give you guys some more information. And another reason for you guys to subscribe is for daily uploads on Marvel. With that being said, let's move on to the trailer. Alright, so first we see rapid close-ups of different superheroes and if you slow this down and watch i don't think there's any important detail to talk about and i hopefully haven't missed out any important detail so we'll skip again hopefully i haven't missed any detail here all right so the real trailer starts off with a view of new york city and we see ice and snow everywhere hold on what does this mean does this mean that we're actually getting an Ice Age sequel? No. You know what it actually means? It actually means that we're gonna get a sequel of the day after tomorrow because we have Jake Gyllenhaal in the MCU. No, I'm just messing around. Alright, so the answer to this question lies in page 71 of the Infinity Gauntlet comics. Alright, so what am I saying? So if you guys have read the Infinity Gauntlet comics, you'll know that when Thanos releases his anger, the blow is so strong that many planets lose their orbit and go away from their respective stars. So I think this is exactly what happened to planet Earth. It drifted away from its orbit and because of the lack of the heat from the sun, many of these oceans or many of these raindrops are coming down as snow and we have ice in New York City. And probably this energy outburst from Thanos has been created due to, due to a battle between the Avengers and Thanos, or again some short-tempered cases with Thanos. So all I can say is probably the Earth has drifted, or the second possibility could be that Thanos' snap itself is responsible for this Ice Age. So stick with me till the end, cause I'm gonna give a theory which suggests that the Avengers Infinity War trailer which we got a year back actually had some parts from Avengers Endgame. And stick with me if you wanna know more about it. Alright, moving on. So, in the next important part of the trailer, we see Tony Stark and Nebula working seriously on something. Now, we know that Tony Stark sent his message down to Earth that he's stuck and there's no food and water. Now, it seems as though they're finding a way to make it back to Earth. Now, if you zoom in and look at Nebula, it seems as though she's fixing back a certain circuit. And I think that she's fixing the circuit of this shit to give it some last power so that they can make it back to Earth. Now, they can't be building a new suit because it would be crazy and it would be useless, so it seems as if they're repairing the ship to get the power to go back to Earth. So, in the next scene, we see Captain America and his fellow Avengers looking up at the sky. You can see how they've tilted their necks up. So, there are two possibilities here, and the first possibility is that Tony Stark and Nebula are back on Earth from the Benatar. And that's why they're looking up at curiosity as to who's coming down here. Or, the second possibility could be that there's another attack from Thanos, but not from him directly, but from an Outrider or Outriders. And, according to some leaked LEGO sets, it says that Captain America will be battling the Outriders again. And this may be a scene wherein we see Earth under the attack of the Outriders once again. Next, we get a glimpse of Rocket Raccoon. Now, his location in this footage is unknown, but as we saw in the end of Infinity War, he's still in Wakanda, so this could be Wakanda, or it could be Titan, because we know that the Stormbreaker can teleport you anywhere, as can summon the Bifrost, probably Thor and Rocket are on Titan. And when you see in the next part, wherein Thor is in some other place, it seems as though he's in Titan as well. If he's not in Titan, then where could he be? 
Probably he's exiled himself, forbidden himself from the rest of the superheroes as he despises himself for not killing Thanos. And probably he banished himself or something like that. But this doesn't look like a place on Earth. It looks like some other place and it could be Titan or he could be in exile. And another thing is Rocket Raccoon may be actually trying to find a way to bring back Groot. So you can let me know more about this in the comment section below. I'm not going to talk about this in this video. Alright, so now we see a reunion of Scott Lang and War Machine and you can see that they're staring at something ahead of them with a straight face. They're looking damn serious and they put on their helmets as if they're ready for action. So this could be another Outrider attack or something like that. But all we can say is they're in trouble and they're ready to fight. Alright, so I may have skipped a couple of frames in this trailer, but that's because they're not that important. If, they th if you think they're important, then let me know in the comment section below and why. Alright, so the theory I was talking about. So recently, I just read a theory which suggests that Marvel actually duped all its fans by giving a fake Avengers Infinity War trailer. Now, it's not completely fake, but we saw that many parts of the Avengers Infinity War trailer was actually not in the movie. Now, I believe that these were meant as a spoiler-free stuff for the fans. But what if it had something more? What if this could be a part of Avengers Endgame, where multiple realities or time travel is involved? That's exactly why we didn't get to see this scene where all these superheroes are running towards something. Probably we're going to see this in Avengers Endgame. So, what do you guys think about this theory? Let me know in the comment section below. And that was the video. I try to keep it as short as possible. I'm sorry if it's too long. And if you guys enjoy daily uploads on Marvel, which are short and quick, thus giving your answers as fast as possible, consider subscribing by going for the head or click on either of these videos to continue watching. I still believe in superheroes. Do you?